this is Chris again over at CRC looking at a 24 track Studer 827 uh, one of the best machines ever made it's uh, it has a great transport on it that has the ability of playing forwards and backwards and anybody that likes reverse tape effects knows the value of that because you used to have to flip the reel and then track 24 would become track 1 and sometimes at 2 in the morning when you're saying okay the vocals on 13 and you're you know kinda putting tracks and record it can get a little scary so having the ability to play and record in reverse backwards and forwards and also play with the very speed control while punching in to record in reverse can create some really cool effects Studer 27 best machine ever made in my opinion we switched from Pro Tools to um, Pro Tools to uh, to the 827 real simply we uh, have just the uh, Elcos it makes it very simple for us to go oh we're gonna go Pro Tools on the first curve of the console and tape machine on the second half a lot of times in the past we'd have two tape machines synchronized together those days are mostly gone uh, I haven't seen that in a couple of years where we have two two uh, not since the Smashing Pumpkins Batman I think where we had two 24 tracks Pro Tools and I think we had a digital machine connected I think that thing was like hundred and forty tracks for Batman soundtrack took a little while to mix that one a lot of producers like to drop the uh, uh, drop the tracking to tape and so that way it makes it feel a little bit more analog um, we did that on the Elvis Costello record as well where you drop it to tape transfer it to Pro Tools do all your overdubs on Pro Tools sometimes you even want to do the vocals on tape it does sound cool you know tape obviously is just nipping off those transients um, you know it helps bring you louder basically uh, and it, you know I can it add warmth and all that too I look at it more as a transient uh, you know as a transient designing machine so uh, this thing has two alignments which makes it really simple to go from a couple different tape brands back and forth if you've got two different projects going some of the difficulties working with tape these days is having a formulation that doesn't shed um, consistent batch to batch a lot of times now that the tapes are you try to get consecutive numbers on batch you go okay I wanted them all from the same batch um, you know we've had bad tape uh, tape can get a little bit expensive and uh, you know a year or two ago we had a really tape shortage scare people were hoarding tape um, I always sit on quite a stockpile of good tape um, just in case but uh, it is more expensive and a lot of folks can't afford it so a lot of times it only sees tape in the very last stage which is dropping it to half inch quarter inch mixing with it uh, we still use them a lot around here as slap machines and delay because there is nothing like that you know when you listen to it compared to a digital delay it's 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 very different